and welcome to the 2020 Democratic National Convention. And so we choose to act, inspired by the three sacred words that breathed life into our nation. Hello, America. Good evening. I'm Congressman Jim Clyburn, here in historic... Good evening. I'm Congressman Jim Clyburn, here in historic Charleston, South Carolina. Let us find strength to do the work. Thank you, America. We the people call the 48th Quadrennial Democratic National Convention to order. I pledge allegiance allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with with liberty and and justice for all. It was here that just weeks ago, Americans donned face masks and safely and peacefully protested the death of George Floyd. But while we were peacefully protesting, Donald Trump was plotting. And our current federal government is dysfunctional and incompetent. It couldn't fight off the virus. In fact, it didn't even see it coming. The European virus infected the Northeast while the White House was still fixated on China. Fairly ashamed to say it, but I'm one of many who voted for the current president, Donald Trump. I've been a Republican for all of my adult life. A lifelong Republican. Republican. A lifelong Republican. I've been a long-standing Republican. And I'm telling you, you got to vote for Joe Biden. You can't fake that kind of a smile. He was genuinely happy to see these kids and to spend time with them. It's easy to lose faith in humanity, especially today. There's a lot of polarization, leaves a lot of room for a lot of hope. Senator Amy Klobuchar. Okay. Hello, America. Donald Trump does not understand who we are as Americans. He really doesn't. Many of the ideas we fought for that just a few years ago were considered radical are now mainstream. Joe will rebuild our crumbling infrastructure and fight the threat of climate change by transitioning us to 100% clean electricity over the next 15 years. My friends, the price of failure is just too great to imagine. Thank you. And four years ago, too many people chose to believe that their votes didn't matter. Maybe they were fed up. Maybe they thought the outcome wouldn't be close. Maybe the barriers felt too steep, whatever the reason. In the end, those choices sent someone to the Oval Office who lost the national popular vote by nearly three million votes. People of color have been disproportionately affected, dying at greater rates than white Americans, but we can honor all of those we've lost by giving Joe Biden and Kamala Harris the opportunity to put in place a real national plan that tests and tracks. You're about to hear from some unexpected voices. I'm Governor Christine Todd Whitman. What am I doing here? I'm a lifelong Republican. My parents were introduced at a Republican National Convention by their parents. That's how far back it goes. I'm Meg Whitman. I'm a longtime Republican and a longtime CEO. For me, the choice is simple. I'm with Joe. Hi, I'm Susan Molinari. I'm a former Republican member of Congress from New York City. I'm a lifelong Republican, but that attachment holds second place to my responsibility to my country. Thank you all. God bless. Wow. 
wow, wow. Thank you, Michelle Obama. You are, you are what we miss. There's something happening in here. It is ain't exactly clear. There's a man with a gun over there. Telling me I got to be away. Think it's time we stop. Children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. 